right. Um, so in this case, guys, we want to verify, you know, basically like in the problem that I showed you guys, we want to make sure the left side is, is the same as the right side, right? And typically, we just got to pick a side. And I think you guys would agree. You guys can see we have, you know, this sign of function outside of parentheses that applying that multiplication is, is the operation. It's much easier to m apply multiplication and then try to simplify it rather than to take cosine squared and try to like expand it so it looks like this, right? You know, so usually when you guys see a side that has an operation that you can apply, that's usually what you want to go ahead and try. So let's apply multiplication. So now again, when you're showing your steps, you guys can use your identities now. Reciprocal identities. We understand that sine and cosecant are reciprocal functions of one another, right? So when you multiply a number times its, its reciprocal, you get 1. When you multiply a function times its reciprocal, you're going to get 1. Then sine times negative sine, which we learned, which we practiced last class period, is sine squared of x. All right. Now, whenever I see a function squared, I immediately start looking at my Pythagorean identities. And my famous Pythagorean identity from there is sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So therefore, if I just subtract a sine squared on both sides, I get <coughs> cosine squared of x. And I'm going to sneeze in three, two, oh, held it. That's good. Got it. <laughs> 